day one pits. It's, it's absolutely really warm, 22 degrees. This time last week, it was only four degrees. And the wind chill meant it was really cold. No fish, but have they woken up yet? We'll have to wait and see, won't we? It's currently four o'clock in the afternoon. The sun's starting to set. I'm in the shallows, right in the corner, hoping that the sun throughout the day is going to put the fish into this corner. But I think the water temperatures might be a little bit too cold yet because it has been consistently chilly since Christmas. So it's Easter. All the lakes are absolutely ran with anglers and there's nothing I can do about that. It's just that time of year where all the solar anglers, the people that don't come out until it's Easter, dust the rods off, run down the bank, get the, the kettles out, the bivvies, the sweaty bivvies, the ones that have left the bivvies inside the shed or the garage for six months and they stink. Well, mine's fine because I've had it out throughout winter. I don't have that kind of problem. Forgive the sun because it's right, right in your eyes now. But I tell you what, I'm fishing 16 wraps out, nine foot of water, some particle out. I've actually got some particles sorted out for the vlogs as well. That's Cheshire Particles are gonna start sending me some particles out to use in the vlogs and I'm not a consultant it's not sponsored they're just saying hey guy you know uh, if you're using particle we'll send some out to you brilliant thanks for that. every little help so it's not sponsored not paid just I uh, get some bait sent to me from time to time look at that can't believe it it's like the middle of summer there's not many birds on the water for some reason I don't know why that is but there isn't very many and I've got a rod just over there, we've got one off that bush over there, shallow water, and two straight out in front of me. So hopefully we'll get a fish. It's looking nice though. It is looking really nice. Oh, love it. Look at that. There's the sun, but yep, yeah, it's lovely. And that's where I've got a rod right there off that bush it's just off that bush and the other one is just out in that area there a nine foot of water so if they don't move up into the shallows at least I've got two rods in nine foot of water and there seems to be like kind of what you can see there is like a kind of a, a strip of thermocline as I call it a strip between slack water and choppy water that's where I am right on that strip beautiful isn't it I love this place. A1 pits. Love it. Nice water. Hopefully we'll get some fish. Absolute ram though. Right, enjoy the rest of the vlog. It's that time in the evening now where the sun started to set. I've had my tea. Oh, little tip. I've had some Asda mango and chilli sauce. Oh, that is a life changer. Absolute life changer. Anyway, back to the fishing. Where I am now, looking out there, we've got a good bed of particle down now. We've got some uh, 365 um, from Edge edge baits and I'm looking to see if there's any activity out there plus over there in the shallows I'm going to leave a rod there as well to see if we can pick a fish up from there now this is part of me um, big carp hunting there's an old train going past there when you're going for the bigger fish this is pit five by no means is it in easy water as a result what happens is you have to wait and sometimes you strike lucky and you get a load of fish sometimes you don't it could be weeks before you get a fish but that's why I'm going to do the midweek sessions and the weekends is going to go for the bigger fish so hopefully on that spot tonight I'll catch a fish now I'm also glad that I'm not going to be making the particles myself because it stinks and when you've got the particles boiling in the pan it really does smell it makes a mess of your cooker 
And I understand now why housewives do not like you making particles. So one of the reasons why I've accepted some particles from, uh, well, not this week, I'll be getting them next week, from Cheshire Particles, is, uh, saves me doing the job. I can pop them in the freeze. They do some shelf life as well. And it just helps for the vlog. It gives me more time to edit, do bits and pieces, hence why I still start using their particles. Now, we also use... Uh, some boil up some stuff myself from Jamie at Perfected Particles, which is in the same county. They know each other, they're friends, they get on. So it's not about cutting people's throats, is it? Look at that sunset, it's lovely. Absolutely stunning. So I'll recap what I've done. We've got 16 wraps, hemp, um, boily. Crushed boily, corn, I think I've got some groats in there as well. And hopefully that'll get the fish on the feed. Nine foot of water on a nice clear area. Look at that. Nothing showing yet. I haven't seen a fish go head and shoulders out of the water yet. So that's a bit of a pain. But it's not that far away now, the, the temperatures stay higher where we'll start seeing more fish and more fish on the bank. It's still spring, it definitely is still spring, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And tomorrow morning, we'll see if we catch a fish or get one through the night. And hopefully we try and catch something. Got the time lapse on the go again. And I can feel my waders leaking on the knee. I'll have to have a look at that. So comment below, have you had any fish out of A1 pits, pit 5? Um, let us know, in fact go to Calgary Northwestern Fishing Facebook page, still some pictures on there. And don't forget, join the group, Northwestern Fishing, and we'll, uh, we'll all communicate together, get some photographs up of the fishing captures that you've caught as well. Look at that. I love fishing, this is why I go fishing. If I don't catch anything, I've had some good grub, I've had some R&R &R and I've got to see you again. See you in a minute. Well, it's morning. Not a sniff. Nothing. Not a nugget, not a fish. Plenty of little field mice kicking about, but no fish. There's a nice mist across the visqueen of the water, the surface of the water. Viscous, visqueen, I don't know. Viscous, I think it is. Can't think. The sun's been up in the sky for about an hour. I didn't want to come down near the water's edge. Just in case any movement, I put a fish off. It's like I said, quite close to that tree over there. So with it being shallow water over there, you would have seen me. Well, there's a chance of a fish seeing me. So nothing moving. There's no signs of activity at all. Except for loads and loads and loads of carp anglers. Some have already started spotting out first thing in the morning. I never quite get that. Especially been there overnight, but that's just my opinion. If they've been overnight, I'd leave them until at least mid morning before rebate rather than first thing in the morning. That's just my opinion. I think it's going to be another warm day. Fishing can always be very difficult when there's high pressure, and currently we've got high pressures today coming up. The sun's nice on my face, I've got to admit. <sighs> Here's what it is, it's called fishing for a reason. It's not called catching, is it? 
And it all depends what kind of lake you're fishing. If you're fishing a low stocked big pit, then yeah, it's a waiting game. Unless you strap on the fish and you're lucky and you catch them when you're feeding. That's exactly how fishing can be sometimes. Or, you don't have a choice of swim. Like what's happened this weekend. You can't see any fish, you've got no choice. All you can do is just put your, your cards on the table and see whether the game goes your way. Currently it's not. Oh be it. Oh my word. Sorry about that. So tired. Time to cook some breakfast and chill out. I'm gonna go about twelve o'clock. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do because I've not had a fish yet. I think I'll pack away. Now the reality of this is, let me just tighten that up, is that even though you get things right, you don't get things right. So you might have the right presentation, you might have the right rigs, that you feel, because it's all about your own personal personal fishing and you might think yeah I've cracked it I know what I'm doing here but then if the fish aren't feeding not feeding and I haven't seen anything move or show at all I mean at all some people might have caught fish but at all I've not seen anything and this is fishing now I'm not gonna waste my time this week this uh, this Easter break I've got the kids tonight so I'm gonna start packing away I'm gonna have this drink of tea and I'm gonna pack up then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna see you on the the next vlog, a big carp hunting, that's what I'm going to be doing. But also I'm going to have an, an, the day session vlog to try and pick a couple of fish up as well. While using some particle and boilies. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Don't forget, press that like button down there, subscribe. And it's really good to see you again because without you this isn't worth doing. So it's really good to see you. It's fishing, isn't it? It's not catching, it's fishing. Take it easy. Thanks for watching the vlog, and it's really good to see you again.